Dear creationists, I would like to take this opportunity to say thank you. And no, I am not being sarcastic. Thank you for taking the time to unleash waves of one-star vote bots against us. Thank you for painstakingly downvoting all comments left on our videos. Thank you for meticulously marking all comments as spam after we disabled comment voting. Thank you for illegally filing a barrage of false DMCA claims against our videos. Thank you for the false flagging campaign that continues to censor many of our videos. But most importantly, thank you for proving to us and to the world that you are morally bankrupt. My intention when starting a channel on YouTube was to do my small part to educate the masses to boil down a host of exciting scientific discoveries and strip them of their dense jargon so as to make them more readily accessible to the educated free-thinking public, and in the process establish a forum for lively discussion between the religious and scientifically minded among us. But you have shown a complete inability to carry on even the most basic logical discussion. You have proven you are unable to grasp even the most elementary scientific concepts let alone those taught at a high school freshman level. Instead of engaging in lively intellectual conversation, you troll, spam, flag, and bot. Having a debate with you is equivalent to playing a chess match against a pigeon who knocks over all the pieces, takes a crap on the board, then flies back to his flock and claims victory. Your actions your words have done more to prove our point that you are intellectually and morally bankrupt than any of our videos ever could. So thank you. Thank you for proving our point for us. Thank you for showing that after three years you have nothing intelligent to say. Sure, we have the mountain of evidence on our side, over 200,000 peer-reviewed scientific papers containing millions of individual pieces of evidence collected by tens of thousands of scientists working over the past century and a half, and the legal ruling of the United States judicial system. But your continuing hypocrisy is the icing on the cake. As scientists, we will continue to investigate how the world works. As educators, we will continue to bring the knowledge we gain to the people. And as public advocates, we will continue to work tirelessly to make this world a better place in which to live. You have nothing to offer the scientific community, and your ideas have been rebuked by the judicial system. So instead, you stand on the sidelines and throw stones at the march of progress happening around you. But please, by all means, continue. Continue to take pride in your ignorance. Continue to show the world that you have nothing to offer. Unfortunately, I fear this message is lost on you, because the one thing you have proven time and time again you are incapable of doing is being able to...